Hello again, this is Marxist, and this is episode 2 of my Rough Guide to Snake Water. I'll be going over how to defend on Snake Water and showing you a series of holds to use for each point. We'll go over mid first, second, and then how to hold last, with a discussion of which classes and where, to, where they would stand uh, for a typical last hold. I'm, there are other things you can do, obviously, on all of these points. These are just basically the most typical or the easiest to execute. And I'll sort of talk about what will happen there uh, as we go, as well as showing uh, Meb's call maps for each segment. But before we begin, I'm going to explain a, a terminology uh, thing that I use here, and that's aggressive standard holds and passive holds. You're going to use an aggressive or standard hold whenever you have a player or uber advantage or if the situations are equal that puts you in a good position to attack to deal damage to get picks to do all the things you want to do in tf2 you're going to use your passive holds when you don't have uber advantage when you have a lot of players dead uh, etc and so forth and your objective there is to get your medic out or give him an uber advantage when he spawns and pop their uber or kill their medic the easiest way to do that is with spam you don't want to sacrifice a player to do so unless you absolutely have to so your passive holds gonna let them come into you and you're gonna try and get them to pop their uber without sacrificing anybody's life and then have everyone just leave and hopefully no one will die and that's the objective of the passive hold but now we'll go into defending mid. Since we're talking about mid, I'll show Meb's call map here. I'll also note, in case you didn't see it in the, the other episode where I talked about it, uh, some people call flank and choke the opposite of what's listed here. It's just a, a thing. Some people will also call uh, main the pantry because it connects to the kitchen. Uh, those are really the only variations that I know of here uh, for this map, but we'll get down to business now. This is the aggressive or standard hold for mid. Essentially what you're going to do here is you're going to have your pocket and demo in trying to get into saw room uh, with heels uh, right behind them. Essentially you'll just shift your pocket and demo around so your pocket shoots four rockets, takes some steps back, stops getting healed you heal your demo and then your demo shoots four pipes and then he backs up heal the pocket he shoots four rockets you just keep doing that over and over again until you get some good damage and that's essentially what they're going to be doing uh for the duration of their lives standing here at choke while on defense on the flip side you've got the roamer and both scouts watching the choke main or pantry area uh, on the flank and basically what you're doing there is because there's one scout that's so close uh, to the med you just heal up that scout and then if anybody pokes in there and the roamer happens to shoot them then that scout that has 185 health runs at them kills them and now you're ready to push this this holds designed to be used whenever you have uber advantage and are getting ready to push or you've got player advantage or the situation is equal and you're trying to work some kind of an advantage either pick or take their uber away this is when you'd use that if your medic doesn't have uber and theirs does and you have equal players do not hold like this or you're gonna lose this is the hold that you'll go for when you have uber disadvantage or player disadvantage now, obviously, if you've got player disadvantage, some of the people pictured here aren't going to be present, and you should adjust for that as much as possible, uh, either by shifting scouts around if you've got any available, or perhaps moving your pocket up uh, and having him be uh, on the log, perhaps, or up on the right top platform there. Uh, the main emphasis here is that you're going to use any projectile classes that are available 
to spam at them as they try to come in to get their uber to pop or maybe get a lucky kill. Uh, also, your demo should have sticky traps basically everywhere uh, that he can manage to get a sticky trap on. Uh, your scouts are going to stay in upper to prevent any bombers from getting to your medic because your medic is essentially going to leave mid as soon as they push in. So as soon as that team pushes in, you're outie boom pouty if you're the medic player. Now, any other players who are present, if they see that the other team has managed to get significantly close to touching wood, so like the woody part of the point, you're going to have to suicide to get their uber to pop because if it takes any longer than that, they might be able to get to your medic. So, And you don't want that. So you, you'll have to call, I got it, and then you go and kill yourself and pop the uber. The demo stands pretty close on mid. I would advise you as demo, this is a great place to stand because you can see all the doors, you can watch all your traps, you can spam all your pipes, but when they push in, you cannot really assist them once things get moving. And once they pop their uber, you need to sticky jump as far away from them as you can. Ideally into under the walkway and then completely out, maybe fall through the window if you're afraid you're being chased. Now that we're ready to talk about defending second, we're going to show some more Meb's uh, title cards. The only thing I'll be careful to note here is that flank and choke can be reversed uh, for some players and teams. So be careful that you, you, at least with the other five people playing on your team, you've established which is in fact flank and choke. And that nobody's going to really wig out on you if you call it flank when they call it choke. Uh, also, I'll show you a shot of the interior of the lobby, uh, just because that's pertinent to this defense and this point in general. This is the standard or aggressive hold of mid. As you can see, forces are kind of concentrated on the saw room door, which is part of the reason why I like to call it choke, because generally on other maps, choke is where your combo goes. And so this, your combo is going to be trying to keep the enemy out of saw room. The reason it's in your best interest to do that is it denies them the use of the window and also one of their health packs. So that's kind of nice. But what you've got going on here is your demo and pocket are playing saw just like I described on mid. Shoot four rockets, back up, shoot four pipes, back up, and just keep rotating your heels on those two guys. You have your roamer on top of the pipe, uh, directly above your medic. He can help spam into the saw room if need be, and also shoot at things coming from the yard side. And then you have a scout physically up on top of the fence. The way you do that is you jump on top of the shack, and then you jump on top of the fence. And basically you just eagle eye the window, because if a soldier tries to jump your medic, they have to go directly over you. So that's it's pretty good if uh, you're in his way. Because then you're just going to knock him down to the ground. It'll be a failure. And then the other scout just st stands on top of the shack. And you're mainly there just to discourage anybody from running around on you. Uh, and you'll use this hold when you've got player or uber advantage or the situation is equal. Uh, if you feel the need, you can move your roamer and scouts around a bit here. But this is generally what you're going to see just as a, as a typical hold. I would note that it's absolutely essential that you have a scout on the fence if you're going to do this. Because if there isn't, your medic's going to get killed. Because there's nowhere to really surf to or run away for, to. Uh, you're essentially boxed in, especially if you're really close to the doorway to the saw room. And that's when your life is in danger at most during this hold. So as long as there's a scout there, things will be okay. So now for the passive hold. One variation is you can have your combo not be in cheese or queso is what I like to call it. Uh, not in queso. 
and put them on the ramp where I've got the demo and you can just have your demo pocket med all standing there. But as a medic main, I really don't like standing there because you're kind of just open in plain view. And if you get shot, you cannot surf back in the lobby because there's a, a little doorway in your way. So you have to surf to the right. And that could be bad. <laughs> so queso is the safer option, really. It's pretty easy to avoid damage in there. So you've got your pocket and medic in queso, your demo on the ramp, a scout and roamer on the train car, and then a scout on the far left. That's mainly just to deny them the ability of running in uh, hard on the left and trying to cut you off from behind while you're in cheese, if you perhaps didn't notice uh, that they got behind you. So the main thing here, right, is that you spam them rather than suicide on them to try to get them to pop quickly. They'll pop quickly, especially if they come saw. If they come through the pantry, then they're not going to pop so quick. And that's why your roamer is so close to the front. And why your scouts are kind of where they are. So that one of those three guys can suicide onto them to get the uber out. I should also note that when you are on not holding mid, so if you don't have the middle point... You're at a spawn disadvantage relative to your enemy, so if you die, it's worse for you than it is for them. And that's kind of a big deal, because if you're going to give this point up, like that's your plan, and when you do this hold, you're going to let them have it. You're just going to make them give up their uber for it, and maybe a couple players... If you die in this, it's really bad because you, you're going to end up defending last and you want to have as many people possible to defend last with. And now that we're ready to talk about defending last, I'll show you the last call card of Mebs. The only thing here is that sometimes left is called shutter just because there's a shutter door there, but that's, you know, that's, that's really the only difference. And uh, now we're going to get to holding last. Now this will look confusing at first, so I'm going to, uh, to talk this over slowly. Obviously there are other ways to hold this last, but this guide is primarily meant for players who are feeling a little uh, challenged by the map or haven't really seen someone uh, play this map before or they want things you know made a little bit more clear to them just at the basic level. So I'm not going to go over anything really advanced like trying to hold the lobby or holding forward on this map. So what you've got going on is you've got your roamer on top of the shack, a scout kind of peeking around, running around, and a heavy on top of the point, a medic healing him, a soldier close by who also peeks around, and then your demo. The stickies all around the map are different trap locations. You don't have to put a you know a sticky in each of those locations. It's just those are general areas that you may want to trap, and the other team will let you know which of those doors to trap. But a good basic one is always trap the shutter door. It's always in your best interest to trap the shutter door. And essentially, all you've got going on here is that your scout player and your pocket once you're once you have Uber. Just run around and make sure the sniper is not going to get a clean angle on your medic. So just play kind of active. But, as I mentioned in the previous segments, if you die, it's really bad. Because even if you trade, so you, you kill them, they kill you, they're still going to be back and ready to attack before you're back to life. So, because the way respawn timers work in this game, since they have four points and you have one, they spawn much faster than you do. And uh, that's not in your best interest to die. So try not to, to chase kills. You're just zoning them out. Don't let their sniper get good angles. And if he's unprotected, kill him and make them place by or something until you get the courage to push out. Uh, the purple X's are spots that are popular for sentries. The one that I've circled is pretty much the best sentry spot because they don't really realize it's there and it's kind of hard to attack uh, prior to Ubering. But 
the other thing about this last hold that you can use is if you don't yet have Uber and they push on you, then your pocket just jumps to the truck and your medic runs through spawn and comes out the right side and your heavy just shifts over to the right side of the top of the point. And that way they can't kill your medic because it's kind of hard for them, especially if they use soldiers to attack you, to get over to the truck because they're already going to do one rocket jump, then they're going to shoot at you and then by the time they've done all that, they don't have enough rockets to rocket jump over to you. Plus, there's kind of a heavy in the way. So, that's how you deal with this if you don't yet have Uber. And that's my rough guide to defending on snake water. I hope you found the guide to be a little bit helpful. And uh, feel free to provide any feedback or commentary in the comments below.